first. Someone that has not only lived and breathed and done everything for the DHL Newlands, but has done flick flags on many a blade of grass at this stadium. Alma, who have you got with you? The trots van die koude bokkenveld, Breit en Polse. Thanks Alma, it's uh, certainly special every time we come here. Uh, whether we, we come and support or work or whatever the case may be, uh, this place has been so good to me as well. Um, you know, gave me a wonderful platform and opportunities to, to meet so many great people around the world and I certainly have a lot of incredible memories here. Yeah, so can you remember the first time is there, a, is there a, a first memory here? Yeah, the first time I actually played at Newlands was uh, for Martis as an under-19 boy mm -hmm. um, against uh, Ikees. Uh, obviously, we won that game. So obviously. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was quite, uh, uh, quite, quite special to, to run out, you know, being in the cloakroom. Um, obviously, you know, uh, going up on a farm, we always watched uh, Newlands on TV, Western Province, and especially against uh, the Blue Bulls those time. The, I mean, the, the rivalry was was electric and, yeah. and still is today. And uh, my first time, I was so so nervous, but at the same time excited, but like a little boy in a, in a, in a candy shop. And uh, <laughs> it, was a, it, was, it was a really good game. I don't remember much of the game. It was just wonderful, the atmosphere. Uh, and although there weren't many people that day, uh, it, it's a memory that stuck forever. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So what would, would, would your highlights be? My highlight would be um, 2001, mm -hmm. when we won the World, uh, oh. the World Cup, the, the Curry Cup. It felt like the World, <laughs> yeah, Cup. Felt like a World Cup. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, <laughs> packed to rafters, you know, 50,000 people screaming for us. Uh, we beat uh, the, the Sharks, obviously, here. Yeah. Uh, and we also had to come back. It was a, it was a tough game. Uh, it, at halftime, the Sharks were comfortably ahead. And uh, I remember the halftime talk of, of Gert Small, you know, it was a, it was a, a nasty one for the boys. And, and it, certainly, <laughs> it certainly, you know, sort of gave the boys a spark. And we came out and, and we won in spectacular fashion. Mm. And then the, the campaign of the Men in Black. I mean, it was just the first, you know, as a professional to be part of, of a group of guys who... We just wanted to do well for, for, for the fans and, and mm. for the people of the Western Cape and Stormer supporters around the world and the country. Um, so, so, I mean, it, there's so many memories, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to, to pick out some highlights, but uh, to been, have a career for over, you know, 10, 12 years here for me as, especially, you know, it, it totally sort of set me up for life. And uh, I've been forever grateful for what Newlands uh, certainly gave to me. And I mean, the fans, you know, some <laughs> of the best fans in the world, if not... Uh, the best, uh, and every time running out here was certainly special. I love when I speak to people from other parts of the world and they go, wow, Newlands is something special. Because then you know, here in South Africa yeah. we think it rocks, but every now and again you speak to someone from, from somewhere else yeah. and they are just so impressed by this ground. Yeah, I, I think, you know, when people come from up north uh, for the first time, I mean, they, they for, forever remember, you know, the whole experience, the whole a vibe, uh, mm. the energy, mm. uh, the connection we have also with, with the fans as players. Uh, and and we, we never take that for granted because, uh, you know, going out after a game, especially when we won, it, it's easy. You know, people always come and smile and talk to you and want to wanna, wanna sort of just have a piece of you. And, and, and that is wonderful memories, you know. It makes you feel that you appreciate it. And mm. I think uh, as a professional these days, you want to be appreciated because mm. there's lots of hard work going on behind the scenes from the backroom staff, from the coaches and the players. You know, there's so many things you have to go through to become the ultimate professional. So for me, I've always appreciated the, uh, the fact that the fans appreciated us.